Hey, I didn't think I'd ever be in this room under circumstances like these. I had a good time, you know, back then. Don't tell me you've all decided to let me live. You're all going to risk your lives on a battle you can't win. But you're the only one here right now, so... I'll say this one more time. If you kill me, Tartarus, the Dark Hour, and your memories of the battles will all disappear. Tomorrow, you'll wake up a normal high school student. You'll be able to live in peace until the moment of the fall. But if you let me live, you'll spend every waking moment until that day in fear of your inevitable death. Nyx cannot be defeated. It's useless to fight her. Are you still thinking, or have you already made up your mind? I guess my words didn't change your mind. There's still some time until midnight. I didn't want to have to show you this, but I have no choice. See? I'm not human. I will bring death to this world until I am finally satiated. Do not hesitate to kill me. I want you to think about this carefully. Is facing Nyx really the best decision? Some things in this world cannot be changed. You do not understand this yet. Memories are ambiguous. Old ones can be replaced with new ones, creating a new reality. Don't you want to end all your friends' pain and suffering? It's up to you. You're the only one who can make this decision. Now, this is your last chance. Tell me your answer. Please, kill me. I don't want you to suffer. So, you understand. I think that looking to the future is a great way to live. But that doesn't mean that other ways of living are wrong. No one knows which road leads to happiness. I'm glad I met you. This must be what it means to... Feel happy. Thanks for everything. Yo, damn, it's cold. But of course, you never miss a day of school. Man, can you believe this year's already over? We're practically seniors now. Just one more year. You think anything interesting will happen? I hope you're right. But seeing the current seniors makes me wonder. Seems like all they frickin' do is study. Talk about boring. Is that gonna be us next year? Why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? Hey, it. Is that girl looking at us? Dude, she's pretty cute. How come I never noticed her before? What are you talking about? She lives in the same dorm as us. Seriously? Uh, what's her name then? I don't know. So then why are you giving me a hard time? Anyway, it's always crazy in the dorms this time of year. There's so many people coming and going. Oh yeah, did you hear? Akihiko Senpai's moving out, you know. The captain of the boxing team. I know who he is, but I haven't really talked to him. Of course, all the graduates are leaving. Even Kirijo Senpai. Miss Student Council President. She's in our dorm too, huh? Man, what's up with that girl? Hey there! Are you looking at us? Is something wrong? Um... It's nothing. She looks kind of depressed, doesn't she? Wait... Do you think she might be interested in me? <laughs> I doubt it. Ouch. That hurts. Next, a word from the valedictorian.
From Class D, Mitsuru Kurijo. Thank you. This last year, I accepted an important responsibility as Student Council President. When I first addressed you from this podium, I spoke to you all about seizing opportunity while you had the chance. Well, it must have been fate that intervened and gave me an important reminder of this. As many of you may know, my father unexpectedly passed away due to illness. To tell you the truth, after losing my father, I also lost much of my self-confidence. You see, I had overestimated my ability to handle everything alone. Few people can be that strong. There are times when we cannot stand without the support of others. After my father's death, I received kind words from many people. You all taught me the value of allowing yourself to be cared for and protected. I would like to continue going forward with the support of those around me. For us graduates, it was truly an honor to share the last three years with all of you. Thank you so much for those wonderful years. She seems kind of bum, doesn't she? I guess even presidents cry too. Hey, where's that girl? What are you talking about? You know, the girl we saw the other day. I assume she'd be here. Oh, her. Well, there's a lot of people who aren't here. Actually, I'm surprised you didn't skip. Heh, <laughs> I thought about it. Anyway, next year will be our turn. What have you got planned, Yucatan? College? Hmm, I haven't really decided yet. What about you? <laughs> That's what I thought. You know how the president was crying? Well, I can sort of relate, since my dad passed away too. But that stuff she said about seizing opportunities? Give me a break. We're only in high school. I mean, yeah, it's important. But can it wait a few years? But anyway, there's really no hurry to decide what we want to do with our lives, right? I mean, high school's hard enough as it is. Yeah, I can agree with that. Here's what I think. Sometimes you're better off not knowing. As they say, ignorance is bliss. Besides, you can't always be thinking about the future. In the end, it doesn't matter as long as you're happy. You've got to live in the moment. Carpe diem, right? Yeah, I guess so. Woo, that was some speech. <laughs> to be honest, I'm not that strong of a person. That's why I get worked up so easily. It's hard to explain. It's just the way I am. Hey, I know where you're coming from. Thinking about stuff like that just gives me a headache. So I try to avoid it as much as possible. <laughs> now that's the Junpei we all know and love. Everyone's so uptight these days. They just need to chill out. You know, take it easy for a change. What are you gonna do if that plan backfires? Well, that'll be that. But for now, <laughs> let the good times roll. Karaoke, anyone? Let's celebrate our future. A graduation party, huh? Well, that does sound like fun. Why don't we all go? It's decided then? Cool. I'm not the one. 